think we can't be here, and y'all are the creepiest human beings on the planet. Like in an hour, we would like be on the wood back there. Nobody come past this line. All right? Sorry. Bruh! Bruh! All right, so now I want to talk about creating pressure. So I talked to the coach, and I and like, what do, you, what do we want to work on? And he was like, hand fighting, getting to a leg, but the in-between. And that's what me and him and Roper spent two hours discussing. It was more of a little bit of debate last night about what the in-between is. So the in-between from whatever tie-up I have, right? So if I have <coughs> double outside ties and I'm ducking under or shooting a high crotch, or single leg. From the time I set my tie to the time I get to the leg, the in-between. How do we make that better? All right, well, I gotta get to the leg in good position, and I gotta have a good setup, right? And I gotta have good conditions for my leg attack, right? So I create pressure, I get an angle, and then I, and then I, I gotta get from tie to leg, all right? The in-between, all right? How can I make that faster? Well, well that's a, that's a long-term thing, right? How do you get faster? You work on your speed and agility. <coughs> How do I get faster in a match like that? Okay? Can't do it. All right? Unless you got some Russian potion that makes you super fast, which they seem to do sometimes. All right? So now what I need to do is create a little bit of a condition that makes me faster. So if I'm just going from me to Jake, that's, the, that's my speed. But if I'm going from me to Jake, but Jake's coming to me, do we get faster or slow? How much faster? Twice as fast. If it's just me going from point A to point B versus me going point A to point B, but this guy's going point B to point A. Twice as fast. Who said two times? You make your grades? Two nine answer right there. <laughs> what's your GPA? Like a three nine. Oh, you put it in my face. <laughs> All right. So now that's what we're going to talk about: creating pressure and releasing pressure. That's the in-between that we're going to focus on making super fast. All right? So we're going to get back to our closed distance, head position, inside tie. A couple people ask me about what I consider elbow control. When I say elbow control, I'm armpit all day. I'm armpit all day elbow control. The further I get down, his arm a little bit tougher it is for me to control. So I'm going to close distance, pressure with my head. Now, whoever wins the pressure battle is usually the guy with the lowest tips. So this is the drill we're going to do. Stay home, close distance, he reaches up, I go inside tie. Now all I want you to do is back this guy up. Notice my lead leg's not changing, but I'm driving into him, staying home and in a good position. Because the minute I create enough pressure for my attack, and we're going to do all kinds of attacks from there, it's going to get twice as fast, just like that. Okay? Just by creating pressure and then disappearing. Because okay? when I drive into him and he starts driving back, and then I disappear, okay, my speed gets twice as fast, twice as fast, all right? A lot of people say it looks slick or this, that, and the other. We're going to do simple all the way to grandma's crying in the stands because she's so proud, all right? So that's all we're doing. Close distance, inside tie, pressure, 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 pressure. Straight back. Go. Cool. 